Hi everyone, this is Tarni, UX UI designer. This video may be helpful for someone who's thinking about a career change or who's really trying to get a, a, a design related job or who's tried out of the college or high school uh, will be confused on getting what directions to take. So in that cases, you can watch this video. This video is for you. I'm going to tell you five simple steps that you can follow to get into the UX UI designer job, which like which I did that helped me to get into my current job. As you watch this video, if you have any questions or comments, you can put that in the comment section below so that I can maybe try to uh, answer all those in the next video. Or if you have any tips or tricks that you want to uh, let the users, other users know, other followers know, please put that as a comments so that it will be helpful in the future who are all watching this video. Before that, make sure you subscribe and press the bell icon so that you'll get all the videos of this channel regularly. So you, you won't miss anything if you're really interested in design. So yeah, let's get into the video now. Step one, decide whether UX UI design is for you. Uh, since you're watching this video, you might, uh, I guess you already know what UX UI is, or the basics, or you might be interested in to just know what exactly happening in design. Yes. So let's start with that. Find out whether uh, this job is really suitable for you or it really attracts you. So because like you can't be able to enjoy a job which is really not so interesting for you. So find whether it's interesting uh, and also uh, do start your research on various platforms and websites. Recently, I've been asked and most people want to know whether they can learn the UX UI design for free. Of course, you can learn. The answer is yes, uh, because no one wants to invest on anything which they don't have a basic field knowledge, right? So getting the uh, basic knowledge through uh, online platforms and websites, like it should be useful, should be helpful at the end. Maybe uh, if you are really not interested in paying at the start, I'll suggest the links that who are all which are all the platforms that is offering the free courses to start. Uh, there is some website called butteracademy.com, which is like there are a lot of links that is there, uh, which is offering all the free online courses. In this Butter Academy website, you can see a lot of free UX design courses available on like several platforms like InVision. Uh, free UX tutorial in Figma, Hack Design and Become a User Experience Designer LinkedIn Learning and Future Learn Digital Skills, Learn UX.io, Coursera, Skillshare, General Assembly and Envato to attend Linda UX Design Courses. So many, so many websites are available for uh, you to learn the UX UI design course as a free thing. Lots and lots of uh, paid courses are available you can also check that if you are interested and if it's really affordable for you and step two is like start with the course and uh, learn them mindfully because uh, learning like or uh, do remember that you are doing this course just like learning about ux is to make changes in your career path not only to uh, like crack the course or get the certificate right so you, are, you need to do it mindfully at the end, what you learn through this is what matters. To make it simple, uh, you will be learning the whole design process. Starts with empathizing. Empathizing in the sense you will be doing the primary research to find like uh, to find the problem area where it is really uh, affected and what is what it is causing and why it is happening like this. And then to make uh, to make it a bit more clear, you will be defining it, defining the problem. So what exactly the problem? So by doing the secondary research, kind of in depth, like doing finding the articles or research papers that is related to it, or someone like directly connecting with the people, getting the personas, finding the pain points, will help you to get into the like finding the exact problem and defining it. And then third one will be the ideating one. Ideating is nothing but collaborating and brainstorming with the uh, with the team members or uh, your design team or the or your co-designers whoever it may be like uh, you can brainstorm with any people who, like colleagues or friends uh, who know about like you you should first explain the problem and then you ask their opinions and getting all the inputs and iterating on it and coming up with a final solution so that's what it helps iterating helps next is prototyping prototyping is something that um, before getting into the visual design directly or to development uh, we will be doing some sort of low quality wireframes and high quality wireframes to check it 
So with that, like we can do several iterations, like um, if to avoid many difficulties in the future. And then okay, the last step is test. Uh, testing is something like uh, it helps you to understand the impediments to find what works and what not. This is what you will learn during your uh, UX design process. Step three: master a design tool. Why? What I mean here, mastering a design tool is like you should be learning any one of the UX UI design tools. Uh, in and out so that um, it will be helpful for you and learning more tools will maybe back you up in the future so i can suggest you two websites that you can learn xt and figma through so one is xtguru.com which is from adobe and one is another one is from figma.com slash design so that is also from uh, figma after all this you have got some idea on what is UX UI. So you have done already some sort of your researches and you have been designing some sort of wireframes, doing some sort of projects and learning some things. Yes, you have got some rough idea about it already. So start implement it. Start implement it and do a, I mean, do a uh, serious project. It won't be perfect, of course. Like at least you will get to know what is the... Uh, what is the way to portfolio? Do projects or activities related to design. Try solving a problem or finding a solution to it. Apply various research methodologies and capture all the data that you have collected via interviews and surveys and journey maps and user flows and wireframes and visual wireframes like whatever, whatever it may be. Try to present them in the portfolio. So each and every steps that you have followed, like you can include that. Don't be so lengthy. It should be short and crisp and you can present like uh, four or five screens that you have made in the portfolio as well to maybe enhance the presentation and also you should include the UX strategy that you've been using like the design thinking process that you have used. You can also take references and inspirations from the hands and dribble and to start with. So uh, there is a lot of lots and lots of inspirations will be available. So you, you should have an Adobe account to create your own portfolio in the hands like or you can also start with your own website. So it depends on you. You can choose on anything. I'll show my Behance portfolio here for the sample. We you can also uh, try something like that. For example, I have made some sort of um, back ops dashboard for a uh, for my previous company that I've been working. So I've I've been presented how that I have started with and what is the view, who's the applicant here, who's the back ops user, and what what they do really, and uh, what are the challenges they've been facing, and what my design strategy is research finding, user flow, and um, etc. Like these are the screens of each dashboard that I have used. Okay, coming back to the steps. So you have now got the idea of like how to create a portfolio in Behance. If you still did not get any idea on portfolio, like you can go and search for the uh, projects, any of the projects. So you there you find all the inspirations like uh, this is how you find your inspirations swiggy redesign so i'll find plenty of projects that someone has already done so i'll just go through it if you really want to do it you can also do the do some sort of redesigning any of the apps like instagram or whatsapp or whatever it may be from your uh, idea point of view and your research methods and following all the design thinking process you can also do that why you are really redesigning it and what you feel uncomfortable in the particular app so um this is one of the example so coming back to the steps we are in the last step where we have to find the job that suits you learn what you need to know before you apply for the job so a jd is what you need to look because job description will get to know more of get you to know more about the requirements and also uh, you can also prepare for the skill sets they are expecting which is mentioned within the interview time so uh, if it's really not suitable for you you can save your time right so before you apply for any job look onto the JD first next start applying directly if you find if it's interesting or uh, start applying through the platforms like LinkedIn of course, LinkedIn, you can maybe get so much notifications if you have given some sort of uh, interest in your profile. 
uh, if you are really interested in designer job mention that in your profile so that it will help you to i mean filter all the design related jobs on your profile and then the second one is the angel is talent so say angel.co is the link i have been giving in the description below uh, so uh, it is like uh, it's a kind of large startup community where you can find all the startup jobs here so most of the startups will have registered here so that you can look even the payments that they are, that they are offering and also you can uh, specify you can create an account here and you start applying for the jobs based on your your own uh, interest talent is something again a job searching platform where you can uh, create a portfolio there as well a uh, portfolio is something like you can build your resume there as well so you, you can also directly apply or consultants will connect, connect with you uh, if your uh, application is suitable for that particular job whatever i have been mentioning will be i'll be giving the links in the description if you are a fresher make sure uh, you are confident enough during the interview and improve your communication skills so that you can be able to convey whatever you want to do to the hire Okay, it's a wrap for now. Hope it's helpful and you got some insights by watching this video. If you want to add something or if you want to know more about design or anything, anything in this, from this video, just put that in the comment section so that I'll try to cover all those in the next video. Till then, thank you. Bye bye. We'll see you in the next video.